Hello and welcome everyone to episode number 40, I believe, 39, I do not remember, but it is NASCAR Heat 5 career mode. Today we go to Atlanta Motor Speedway. Here are the playoff standings. We won the last race. Steny Hamlin has a points lead. Um, um, after two wins, three stage wins this season. 48 playoff points too. Um, so that's pretty pretty good season by him, I would think so. Um, and anyway here, let's get into Atlanta Motor Speedway for the fifth race of the NASCAR Cup. Coming off turns three and four now, where do I qualify? I'm not going to get the best qualifying attempts here, but I will qualify at 36. Not great qualifying start by me. Um, this is probably one of my worst tracks, even though I did get my first win last season. Oh, by the way, no um, pit stops anymore. The who gets the pole for this race? It's Martin Trucks Jr. Let's get into Atlanta Motor Speedway. Here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway for the fifth race of the NASCAR Cup Series. Last year, Dylan Walker got his first NASCAR win, aka me. At the Atlanta Motor Speedway, he went on to win the championship that year after uh, dominating playoffs. He became the first driver since Jimmy Johnson to win Atlanta to go on the win championship here. But Joey Logano, he hasn't forgot about us today. Ross Chastain made an unapproved mod body modification. And Ryan Blaney had an engine change after um, qualifying. We're at the final practice, I believe it said. Truex will lead us to the green flag here. DW. Say your most famous words. Thanks to DW there. This first stage is 12 laps here. Another running back here. Not really running well here. As I will, in fact, probably change the paint scheme coming up for the next race. I don't know what it will be, but I'll think of one. Probably an alternate car, but. Anyway, that doesn't really matter now. But back Kozlowski is going to lead the first lap here in the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Kozlowski got a few wins last season. Made it all the way to the round of eight. Running back here in the 30s now. This is... We haven't been running well except for Phoenix, which we did win. We actually led a lap in Phoenix. Um, championship hanging over season, I don't know yet. But we will have the Bristol in the few races, so... Uh, Bristol, for me, is probably my best track ever, so I'm probably going to win Bristol. Um, probably not this race, because I'm right, because the field's already spread out. I'm not... I'm just making up ground, because I'm in the back, but... Oh, wow. Blaney, really strong car. Going into turn one here where Bubba Walsh is in fact the leader. Gates is right behind me. Bubba Walsh's stats really no wins yet, but making a name for himself in the Cup Series by being the only African-American driver. We're already, yeah, we're making up spots here. I mean, it's Atlanta. Oh, man, it's just a bumps. The bumps are throwing around here. Okay, better pass David up here. Come on, David. Love you. Oh, sorry, David. Don't move him out of the way. Well, Gase has just been on us. Joey Gase is defending Daytona 500 champion. Well, was after defending the last season's Daytona 500 winner. Has two wins on his resume in the Cup Series. Um, I forgot what driver said. I believe it's Rack Lassie that said something about how drivers need to get up to the Cup Series. They need to win lower division races. Well, Joey Gase never won a lower division. Um, division race until or well a NASCAR World Division race he won a Premier Series which would be the Cup Series race first he won them twice so 
Fisher sure Joe gets on the loop system and that. So does Justin Haley. Well, not Justin Haley. Well, he won the Cup Series more before he did in the Xfinity Series. Probably the weirdest underdog finishes I've ever seen. I mean, Chris Buescher, 2016. Um, really isn't that crazy if you really think about it because front row they won before. Like once before. But they've been a long rounder. And well, for longer, not rounder. I don't know why I said rounder, but I want Spire Motorsports, which that's was like their 18th race that they ran. They got and went in Justin Haley's third start. And Chris Busher had like like 50 starts or something, so that's why it wasn't that crazy. It was crazy for the time being, but Justin Haley broke that. But Brad Kowalski's led all the laps, I believe, here. I wasn't really paying attention, but I'm pretty sure he has. Brad Kowalski, three wins, I believe, three or four wins last season. Um, his Atlanta stats here, two wins. Uh, most recently, 2019. Two years ago. Uh, basically, because we are in 2021, but unfortunately, I can't change the roster because no modding, so. On PS4, so. Oh, what in the world? Oh, there goes Swarass. Oh, Swarass saved it. Swarass, one of those guys that really rushed up to the Cup Series, too. I mean, he did stay at least two, se um, two seasons. I think he was rushed off. I'm pretty sure if Carlyle was going to retire, Suarez would have definitely been in with um, in the Xfinity Series for in another year. Then now um, he would go to the 77 car for Fern Trail Racing, I felt like, in 2018 to run for a few of the year. Then I don't know where else he'd go after that. Maybe they want to shut down. I don't know. Probably not, since they would have... Or what they? I don't even know. I don't really care. Even. So, we're going to get passed by Reddick in the 8 car. Um, don't want to wreck him. Reddick's a pretty good guy. Not going to wreck him. Well, I almost... I tried to help him win a race last season at Bristol, but that didn't work out. And speaking of that, I need to pay attention to who's leading this thing, but Joey Logano has taken the white flag here in Stage 1. Daytona 500 winner. Can he win? That all animal motor speedway. Well, we are making up ground now. Our cars. I think we have a good long run car. I feel like, but Joey Logano is going to get the stage one win from Atlanta. And now bring up first caution here. Yep, first caution out of Atlanta. Um, I think this race might go incident free if you think about it. Um, Auto almost won incident free. Um, Phoenix had a lot of records. I was running like an idiot, but yeah, there's your stage one top ten there. Christopher Bell up there. Matt Kenseth up there. William Byron, Alex Bowman. Christopher Bell is really probably shocking, most shocking up there. But got Joey Logano, Brad Keselowski, Kyle Busch up there. Top ten hasn't won yet this season, so. Only two winners this season, or three winners have been me. Oh, well, Joey Logano. Joey Logano is the only one that has won this season. He won the day 2500. But other from that, no one has won yet this season. So, um, I'm not pretty sure that might change today. I mean, Bakslowski hasn't won yet this season. Kyle Busch hasn't won yet this season. Um, these guys up here, most of them guys haven't won this season. And there goes uh, Ryan Blaney. Wow. He's already up here. He's. So I'm started um, behind me, and Blaney's already up ahead. I guess um, I didn't remember like in the first few laps he went flying by me like really fast. So Blaney might be, I guess, uh, back from the pack pick. He's my back from the pack pick today. Look at that, he's running fast. He has a really fast car today. Tiger, if he didn't like change his engine after practice for qualifying, whatever it was, I don't remember, but he would probably maybe even be up there contending for the win. Now, oh, I see Christopher Bell moving up to second place. Oh, uh, well, no, rather fifth place. Great run for Christopher Bell. Um, last season, he ran well here. 
I think Atlanta's gonna be one of his best tracks in NASCAR D5. I don't know, probably because he's, well, he does have a truck win there, um, an Xfinity win there, so he has a lot of experience, so I'm pretty sure that busted up his rating here at Atlanta. But anyway. Oh yeah, oh John, man. I don't know what the preferred lane would be at Atlanta. The top lane, probably. Well, I was the bottom lane, it's the fastest way around, but I cannot get past cars. Um, yeah, but some guys are going bottom lane, but it looks like the guys on the top lane, they're just sticking there, not really moving. The guys on the bottom lane is all, but oh, wow. Johnson right behind me. Oh, nearly makes some contact. Austin Dillon there in the three. Logano up there still. I mean, still trying to get a win. Let's go on board here. My helmet cam. Basically first person. Do that, I'm gonna try to run the bottom lane. Uh oh, oh no, oh no, oh wow. Nearly wrecked Johnson there. Well, I didn't see what I was doing. We nearly wrecked him. Gonna get a rat pack spine for 16th. Yeah, not really running well this season, you know. Um, I guess since I had sophomore stuff in that championship hangover season. Uh, Black Flag is a harder. There's basically the Doug on his YouTube channel. It's sort of a series now. Championship hangover season is life. But this might be a championship hangover season. I don't know. Well, they say the sophomore season is always the worst season for a driver, so... I guess. Yeah, I'm running back to really not making too much ground here. Joey Logano still leading. Here at Atlanta Motor Speedway after seven laps in the stage in the second stage. Five to go now. Here we go right now, I'm gonna learn Newman's lane. Oh wow. Kinda got squirrely there, squirrely loose. Atlanta, wow. Tight. A little bit tight. Oh, what in the world? Uh, never knew that pit stops were on, but <laughs> okay. Or tire wear. I guess it won't probably blow. I mean, I hope it doesn't blow. I mean, that's why. Oh, wreck Ryan Blaney! Nice job driving that stage driver. Ryan Blaney wrecked, spun out. Logano will get the stage two win. First caution for incident. Second caution of the day. From Atlanta. Oh wow. Right in front of us too, great. Fast car two. I really feel that trim kind of sucks. For him. Oh wow, spun tires, spun tires. Oh, I did not get going. I spun tires there a little bit. Oh no, there goes Austin Dillon around. Austin Dillon into the wall, nearly spins. Not a great start for me there. Spun tires, then get going. Oh man, are you serious? Oh, by the way, um, Blaney's out of the race too, it looks like. Yeah, Blaney's out. Oh no. Had a strong car. Out. Blue tire got a lot of damage. I believe his first DNF this season. Strong season two. I think he's going to be a championship favorite too, or one of the championship favorite drivers. Vigidetto's going to run the high lane in 18th place. Logano still out front. Dominant performance. 
He's led every lap, I believe, since the end of stage, since near the end of stage one. Oh, wow, a bunch, don't, ugh. a bunch of damage on the front end of my car from that. Um, because of Laney and me shoving, running into the back of the car because I didn't see, I didn't slow down in time. Well, I didn't, well, I thought he was going to go in the apron, that's why I didn't slow down. Make sure you have car, no, another car spin, but we do have 13 miles to go here from the Fultz Bonner. Quick trip 500. Put the lather look down off, is my mic even on? Yeah, it is on, I don't know why. I checked to see if it was on, I just thought it was off for some reason, but I do remember meeting it earlier. Anyway, we got no stop front. Oh wow. Johnson 15th. Right oh, we're gonna get by Johnson. Oh! Alright, clear Whoa! Running low. I think this might be the least amount of caution to get a race. Only two cautions so far from Atlanta. This is looking a lot like 2016 race from Atlanta. Or in this year's race too. Or like no cautions I feel like. There's like five, four this year. There's like three at Atlanta a few years ago, so. Why be the first Atlanta race for two cautions in the race? I don't want to jinx that, but Logano will lead us to 10 to go. This is grueling. Not like last season's race where it was kind of a wreck fest at the end. Oh, Ryan Newman up here. 13th, I actually ran all day. I feel like. Oh, oh, there goes Newman. Newman loose. Wow, loose. Oh, into the wall we go. Quick boy is right behind us. Oh, loose down the apron. Gano, nine laps to go, leading still. Coming on eight. Oh, wow. Very loose. But very tight. Tight, tight. Nearly sent Boyer to the wall. Gano still leading with eight laps to go now. Right now, Newman's still leading, or Lugano's still leading. I wish I was Newman up there leading this thing. We almost got off to him. Lugano still leading the Pulse of Honor Quick Trip 500. Seven to go now. Two. Oh, man. Gonna get passed by Newman here. Oh, Newman spins out. Round goes Newman. Caution waves. Logano saw front. Chris fell third. Chris fell there. Trying to get his first career to win here in Atlanta Motor Speedway. True Custom will be who will win this race. We have three laps to figure it out. Or four laps rather, I think. Three laps to go here for Atlanta Motor Speedway. Three lap dash for Gano with a great start. Is that a fair? Oh wow, some one car got loose there. Christopher Bell, meanwhile, 
Christopher Bell's going to peek out. Chris Bell looking for the lead here in Atlanta. Motor Speedway. Oh, oh two X spun. Truck spun. Caution. That was, well, rather black class get there. Um, the top lane wasn't good that last start. Chris Rebel, Joey Logano, front row, overtime from Atlanta. This thing's been calm all race long. Right now, this is where the real race picks up. There we go right now. Oh, wow. Loose. Got Newman there. Come on, win this. Or just, ah, win this one. Bell up there. Bell got loose. Trucks loose. Kozlowski there. Bowman third. Kozlowski's going to peek out. One to go for Legano from Atlanta Motor Speedway. Let's be another photo finish here. Not at all, I think. Right now, Bush 10th. We're going to one today, 2500. To start off the year. Joey Logano off front, turn four, battling with his teammate. Kowalski looks slow, but no! Joey Logano wins the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500 from Atlanta. 10th! From Atlanta. Gano wins it. Wow. Here's the rest of the finish going over. Blaney rounds them out, 23 laps down. Gano now two wins on the season. He wins Atlanta. Here, so what a race that was, guys. Tenth place. Wow, great race for Joey Logano there. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.